Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lee Elizabeth, and that's Monkey. <laughs> she just woke up from a nap. She just likes to hang out with me in the afternoon, so don't mind her. So today I wanted to talk about luxury items. Now, I think I'm going to be doing a whole series on my YouTube about luxury items, um, why to buy luxury items, why I decided to buy them, where to buy them, specifically for my Canadian girls out there, where to find good deals on luxurious items, where should you start out, where you can resell them, etc, etc, etc. But today I really want to go back to why I started this journey, why I'm getting started, um, and why I decided to invest in certain pieces. So it's kind of funny, a little bit of my history. I used to be like a true tomboy. I didn't care about fashion. I didn't care about doing my hair, my makeup. I was very low maintenance. I liked playing sports, you know, hockey, soccer. I did dance. I was a girl guide. Like I was very busy and I never really cared much about fashion or especially luxurious items. I remember looking back and even with jeans, I was like, why would you ever need to buy expensive jeans? You can just go to Costco and buy those $10 jeans and they're good enough. Just hop on a, a sweater and a baggy t-shirt. That's all you need. It's funny how much I've changed. <laughs> I guess with a little money, you know, like when you get older, adult money adds up and you kind of want to treat yourself to some nice things. So you kind of get started and then the ball rolls and you can't stop it and then here we are. But yeah, I used to always make fun of those girls like, why the hell would they buy those Gucci Couture track sweatpants and Chanel perfume or Chanel flatbacks and all this expensive stuff like, you know, $10,000 bags. That's so ridiculous. I was one of those people for the longest time. And just up until this past year or so, I realized the beauty, the quality, and the investment of luxurious pieces that will last you forever and you can even, you know, have it as an heirloom. You can pass it down from generation to generation and it retains value. So let's talk about my main points of why to buy a luxurious item. You don't have to, you know, have a whole entire closet full of all these luxurious items. You can have just one or two staple pieces. That's another thing. This is, it's minimalism. You don't need to go to H&M or call it Spring and Zara and, you know, buy a $40 bag 10 times. Like you'll buy one in every single color and you know, it will only be good and will only last you for about a year, two years, and you don't really care about it. It's not very sentimental. It's not um, good quality. It's not a very good purchase. It's just kind of like something that you would throw out and replace, right? When you buy a luxurious item, not only is the quality superior, it lasts forever, it retains the value, and you look damn good in it. I'm the type of person that likes investments. By the way, I have another channel called Finance Rules. So if you want to check that out, it's all about how to make money, stock market, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And basically, I make money and I want to spend it. So my two channels is like make the money and then spend the money. Anyways, so I'm really into investments. I'm a finance major, so I'm very into finance and investments. And luxurious pieces are actually investments, depending on the ones that you buy. Because you could buy a staple classic item. So for example, the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag, right? That has been a classic ever since Audrey Hepburn wore it in like, I don't know, it was like 1960s or something like that. Ever since she wore it, then it just exploded and they've been making it ever since, you know, tweaking it, making it better and better quality, but it's still a staple item that retains value. So if you go and you spend 2000 on a speedy bag today, in one year from now, if you only use it a little bit, if you take care of it, it would probably be worth 2000 when you resell it or more. Because the thing is, all these items are always out of stock. I don't know why, like for example, Louis Vuitton, if you go on their website, at least in the Canadian site, so many items are out of stock. 
And for example, the speedy bag, I put a notification to let me know when it's in stock. And I got an email at 6.30 in the morning saying, hey, the speedy bag is now in stock. And I logged in when I woke up at 8.30 and it was already sold out. And I went to the Gucci store in the Milton outlets just yesterday and they were telling me that they just had a shipment in for some of those vel velvet marmont purses and they sold out within half an hour. Literally half an hour. The thing with this is also since during these pandemic times, all the stores are closed, everyone's going towards online purchases. And this is a huge opportunity because if you can get your hands on a brand new item, that everybody is wanting, it's kind of like supply and demand, right? There's a lot of demand, very little supply, the price goes up. And the thing is, it's not even just those classic items that either keep their value or increase their value. It's specialized limited edition items as well. Because they're limited edition, they only make so many for so much amount of time, and then they're out. It's done. See you later. Bye-bye. They don't make it anymore. So they can either do it in a specific style or color or a different texture, like Gucci has the leather or the velvet, but now they don't even have velvet. If you go on the Gucci site, there's you can't purchase a velvet bag. Sometimes it's a color. Sometimes it's a style, like they'll have roses on the bag. And once they sell out, and if you can get your hands on one of those bags and then you can resell it, you can actually sell it for more because now a person comes by and they say, you know, I really like that purse, but they're not selling it on the main store. Now I have to go buy it secondhand if I really like it and they pay a premium for it. And not only that, since it's an investment, sure, you cough up whatever, one grand, two grand, if it's a Chanel purse, 10 grand, whatever have you. You pay that down, and then when you resell it, you can either make that or some, depending on the damage and the wear and tear of your bag, and then you can purchase another one. So it's kind of like, it's almost kind of like the car market, but except it's not a depreciating asset, it's an appreciated asset, which is amazing. We love appreciation. We appreciate it. <laughs> so when you go buy a car, you pay 20 grand for a brand new car, and then you drive it for a year, and now it's only worth, I don't know, 14 grand. So you lost six grand of depreciation. But say you bought a Chanel purse for 10 grand, and it was a classic, maybe a black Chanel flatback, or it was a limited edition, really soft pink, cute with the pearls, okay? And then they got sold out. Sure, you paid 10 grand, but now you can maybe make an extra two grand, three grand, who knows, right? It appreciates in value. So technically, Chanel paid you to wear that purse for a year. This is like how I'm thinking it in my mind. <laughs> You're actually making money by owning these designer items. Okay, worst case scenario, say you spill your drink on your velvet bag or there's a mark on it or you drop some ink and then now there's ink marks on it and you can't get it out and now your bag is damaged. Say you paid $1,000 for it and now it's worth $500, okay? So say you own it for a year. In that year, it depreciated in value because of the damage, but it depreciated by $500. Now you are still going to get $500 salvaged amount from that bag. So it was almost kind of like a lease. When you go lease a car, you pay a monthly payment, right? So it's like, I don't know, 500 bucks a month. Okay, so now you understand where I'm coming from, what the value is about investing in luxurious designer items. Now you must be asking yourself, well, where do I buy these items? Because of course you could go to the Louis Vuitton store or, you know, spend a huge fortune at Chanel. Or you can go, at least in Canada, in Canada there's Nordstrom and there's Saks Fifth Avenue, which are department stores that have these designer names. Some of them know, like, for example, Chanel, you'll never find it in Nordstrom, but, well, I don't know, maybe one day, but there's items like from Louis Vuitton, Gucci, inside Saks Fifth Avenue or Nordstrom. But you'll be paying like a high price still, but it will be cheaper than the actual like Gucci store. 
The next thing that you can do is consignment stores. So in Canada, it's a little bit harder than the US because we can't order from The Real Real and TradeZ because they're only for US. But anyways, the go-to Canadian consignment stores are Farfetch, Fashion Fill, and Poshmark, which Poshmark and Fashion Fill are my personal favorites. Farfetch and Fashion Fill are still uh, US based. You can get it shipped to you and you pay a lot in duty fees. So they'll charge you once it goes into the border, they'll charge you tax and duty fees. So it's just an extra thing that you have to pay for. But if you buy through Poshmark, for example, or even through KGG, Craigslist, Facebook Marketplace, then you can just meet up with the person and exchange for just cash and you don't have to pay any fees. Okay, so where to start off? Forget about Chanel and Hermes because they're super expensive. Like Chanel is like 10 grand for a bag. Hermes is like, I don't know, like 50 grand for a bag. So don't focus on that. I would say if you can afford it, go into Louis Vuitton because they're still super expensive, but they're less expensive than Chanel, but it's still a really great name brand that's been around forever. And there's classic styles that will last you forever and your investment dollars will stick with you. So what I suggest is you should start off with Louis Vuitton small leather goods items. So here we call them SLGs, small leather goods. My first luxurious purchase was actually an SLG, which this is the six card key holder from Louis Vuitton. And I ordered straight from the site because it's not really worth it to buy consignment because you don't really save much for this cheap of a product. I call it cheap, but compared to the big bags, right? So you may as well buy this through the website. And when you buy from the website too, you get the whole package, right? So you get the ribbon and the note, and then you get to open it up and there's a drawer and I don't know, it's just kind of special and you get to start off like legitimately. Okay, so I'll show you my key holder. It opens up like this. And there we go, there's my keys. So I have my door key, I have my common elements key, my mail key, my locker key, my key fob, and my parents' house key. So I have them all lined up, ready to go, ready to rock and roll. And you can always take one out like this and close it so that you can have it handy, always ready to go. So you don't have to like open it up, find what key you need. You know, if it's your daily key that you use all the time, you may as well just keep it out there. And this also prevents scratching. So say if you had all these keys on a key ring and you had your phone sitting on it, well, what do you think that's gonna do to your phone in the long run? It's going to make scratches, yes. So this protects your phone and everything else in your purse because it's tight and sealed. Okay, so using this key holder as an example of how it retains value, let me show. Okay, so here we have the Louis Vuitton website and the six key holder. So it's in stock right now for $310 for the monogram. For example, look, see the fuchsia, it's out of stock. Or you can change from monogram to the damier. It's just a different style. Again, $310. Or for example, you can buy on Poshmark. If you search Louis Vuitton six key holder, look right off the bat, $320. And it has the box and it has this, just like how I have. So I spent 350 and it's depreciated 30 bucks. And look, this one looks pretty worn and it's still, they're asking $310. So it really retains the value. And if these key holders ever decided to go out of stock, you betcha that this price would go up. By the way, feel free to go on to my Poshmark storefront. It's called Leah Elizabeth with two Zs. Right now I'm selling my Gucci velvet purse, brand new. Okay, so also you can buy and sell off Etsy. I forgot to mention that. So if you put Louis Vuitton six key holder, 
and scroll down. See, these ones look pretty old and you, they're still getting 125 bucks. This one looks pretty new. Um, still used though. There is some damage and they're selling it for a $25 discount from the actual site. If you're gonna buy it, I would say just buy from the Louis Vuitton website, but it's good to know that if you were to sell, that, I mean, it retains the value. Also, I just wanted to show you my very new purchase that I just got yesterday. So it's a Gucci, this is the dust bag, and this is the beautiful purse that I bought. This is the camera bag. It's the small Marmont, and it's a limited edition. There's crystals of every color here with the gold antique GG. And this is definitely going to be one of those items that increase in value because right now they're sold out everywhere and in the US and in Canada. And when I went to the store, the sales representative had to get it from the back and she said, you know, we only have a couple of these. They just got imported from the US because I really wanted a velvet purse and they don't make them anymore. And even if you go onto the Gucci website, there are none that you are available to buy. So this retails for $2,600, but at the outlet, I got it for $920. And right now on my site, I'm selling it for $2,000. Now I might not get 2,000, but maybe 1,800 because some of the sites charge a cost, which I'll talk to you about in my next video of where to sell, how to sell but I'm hoping to make at least $500 off selling this purse. Otherwise, I'm just gonna wear it. Because that's the thing with these items, right? You can buy a super luxurious item that's limited edition, wear it for a small amount of time, take really good care of it, and then you could sell it for more. So it's as if Gucci was paying you to wear it. All right, so that's all I have for you today. I hope you have a great week or great weekend, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.